Have you ever had trouble praying before? Dear God, this is Kyle, Kyle Joris. Thanks so much for the sunshine today. And the, hmm, I wonder if Patrick would be up for going longboarding today sometime. I mean, it's such a nice day out. Okay, oh, where was I? Uh, yes, God, I pray for my friend Brandon. I know he's been feeling sick and not like the good sick, like sick, but like the bad sick, like sick. So hmm, I should probably drink more water so I don't get sick. I should, oh, I should go swimming today. I wonder if Haley would, no, <clears throat> back to prayer. Um, thanks again for Brandon being sick. No, I mean, help Brandon not be sick. Oh, jeez. Sometimes it's hard to really focus, pray, and abide in God. Abide, that might be a new word for you. It means to remain stable in God. That's what God wants us to do, to remain with him. The Bible even says to pray without stopping in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, but that sounds impossible. Hey, Kyle. Shh, I'm praying. Hi, Kyle. This is a holy moment. <laughs> what that verse really means is that we should remain and abide in Jesus throughout our whole day. I mean, if you really did that, you would begin to act, look, walk, and talk like Jesus more and more. In John's Gospel, chapter 17, we can read one of Jesus' prayers. He says, I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The Bible says Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, praying for you right now. Today, I challenge you to not leave God's presence after you say amen, but remain in him all day so that the world around you will come to know Jesus as well.